Welcome to Specific Love. Have you ever wanted to give money as a gift, but it just didn't feel like a gift? Well, here are 10 great ways to hide money in something practical. In all of these different forms, we're going to start with something simple. For example, say like putting money into a wallet, which would be really easy. Do something a little bit more extreme. Let's begin. If you'd like to give some money to a child, maybe grab a Pez dispenser. This one just happens to be clear, but most of them are not. Just take some money, strategically fold it up, place it inside, and then hand it to them, of course. And they're gonna feel like a million dollars when they open it up and they find a bunch of cash inside. Another great idea is if they love books, get a book with an interesting title. And then you can periodically just store some cash on just a variety of those pages. I'm sure that would be one heck of a surprise when I go to read it. Now if your audience is going to be of the younger variety, you may want to consider running out and getting a can of Play-Doh. You can write a little note on top for them that could be a little bit funny. And then you could stuff in a bunch of $1 bills. So not only can they go out and now buy a bunch of Play-Doh, they can buy some other stuff and just have fun all around. Now if the person you love needs some school or office supplies, here's a few techniques for that too. Now if they need a pack of pencils, you could always take one of the pencils out, wrap a bell around it, and that'd be a cool little surprise. If you're looking at kids, if you take some crayons, wrap maybe a $5 bill around a couple of these, they could be ecstatic. Or if you want to be a little more secretive, you could also take a pack of pens, and if you look real close in here, you might be able to see there's a bill behind them. To do that, you just want to make a real small cut in the back, slide it in, tape it back, and you won't be the wiser until they start to open it. Now, if the person you want to give money to happens to be old enough to remember what one of these is, it can make a great little gag gift. This is an old VHS tape, and they're pretty useless in today's time. But if you take a name tag, and you give it a funny little title, and then you leave a little space underneath it, you can then give it to them, and they can peel it up and have some more money. Now, if you're going to a birthday party, always bring some extra balloons, but not just any type of balloons. You want something strategically inside. For example, and I lost it. You can easily roll up some money and get it inside. Let me show you how I do this. Now to make this, of course, just get a large balloon. You want one that is pretty thick so you can't easily see through it. You need a large straw. This was cut down from what we like to call a smoothie straw, but it's real thick versus just say here's a just a standard size straw. You can use a standard one, but it's a little harder to get the money all the way through it. Then you roll up some money and you want to use just a little piece of tape to tape it together. You slide it in, then you can slide the straw into the balloon, then get something to push the money just into the balloon, and now you're ready to blow it up, and they're gonna have a blast popping it. Now if the receiver likes plants, it's a great way to not only give them a cool plant, but to give them some little money on the side. The little tag that usually comes with the plants is a great way to hide a little gift card inside. Two things to keep in consideration if we're going to do this. One, you should really just go with a gift card in this situation because you don't have to deal with wet money. Also, it would be a little bit harder to get it into the soil. Two. Be careful when you're shoving it down into the soil because you don't want to damage the root system, otherwise you might kill the plant. Now if your receiver loves Pringles, here's a great way to make them a nice money slinky. Alright, to build this, of course, you take a Pringles can and you clean it out nice and clean so everything can stick inside. Then I just took a small piece of wood and I took a strip of paper and I glued it to the top. I also drilled a small hole, I'll explain that in just a minute. Once we have the tape and paper in place, then you want to tape together a bunch of bills and fold them in quarters. And I found that that quarters work pretty well when you're stuffing it into the can. Now let's go back to the hole here. You want a hole, or you could strategically do this any way you want, but I did a hole and I'm using just a wooden dowel and so that I can then take this and secure this to the bottom of the can. To do that, I'm going to use some super glue. Then you want to take the top bill and use a piece of tape to secure it to the lid. Then carefully just make sure all the bills go in there, trying to get them as low as possible so that they'll be a little bit out of sight. And now you're ready. If your person loves M&M, Skittles, or Reese's, this is a great way to give them the money and a little bit extra treat. First, take a mason jar. And in this case, it was an old sauce jar and make sure to fully clean it out and dry it inside. Then using an empty toilet paper roll, tape up the bottom side. Next, using a treat of your choice, fill the jar around the roll, making sure to surround it completely. 
but not over the top. And just make sure that the tube cannot be seen from the outside of the jar. Then it's time to put the money inside the roll and give it away. And last but not least, a cool way to give some money would be in maybe a pitcher frame. Now, a regular pitcher frame, of course, you have to worry about the glass. You don't want that to get broken, especially if they're overly excited. Or if you want to make it a little more interesting, you get some polycarbonate. Now this is a little bit difficult to work with, but if you work slow, you can get it nice and cut to the exact size of the frame. And then you can glue it together and you can have a couple bills or however much you like inside of it. Now I've got two layers here. This will replace the glass that's in there and you don't have to worry about it breaking. This stuff is actually very, very hard to break and it'll be a little bit difficult to get into. I did this kind of fast, so there is a little bit of a residue around the sides and a fingerprint or two, but if you're real careful, you can do this and have it pretty much clear. Now, we're gonna see if my son can break into this. All right, with the exception of the saws, you can use any tool you see in this room. Go. Two minutes. Good job. That's what I was trying to do from the beginning, but I didn't know what to use. Alright, you did well. That's yours. I can? You can have that. Yes. So if you would have got this as a real gift, what would your thoughts been? I would have been pretty cool. I, I would have liked that a lot. Well, here's 10 great ways to hide money. What did I say now? Hey, been a pract in something practical. In something practical. <laughs> Practical, practical, practical. Practical. All right. <laughs>